Welcome ladies and gentlemen. In this brief video demo, I'll be presenting Longitude's document preview capability. Longitude is a product that extends the search capability of Microsoft Enterprise search tools such as SharePoint 2010 or Fast Search for SharePoint. What you see on the screen before you ladies and gentlemen is an out of the box SharePoint 2010 search result. But I would like to reiterate that our product Longitude works across all Microsoft search products, uh, whether it be Moss 2007 search, uh, Search Server 2008, uh, all the way up to Fast Search for SharePoint 2010. What BA Insight provides is an advanced preview capability. Uh, when a user clicks on a link, rather than have to download and open that file, they're brought to the most relevant portion of that document immediately. So in this case, for example, the first document on this list is a PDF, and it happens to be 3 megabyte. When I click on this link, BA Insights Preview comes up, and I'm brought to the most relevant section of this document immediately. So in this case, we're looking at page 6 of 57. It's the most relevant based on the, the query that I ran, Fast SharePoint Search Comparison. This is the page that has the highest concentration of those terms. The preview also offers full hit highlighting throughout the document. You're not limited to just the most relevant page in the document. Uh, you can move through the entire thing. These tabs are uh, quite convenient. You can move by hit, for example, like so, or by page, if you like. But the bottom line is the user is not sitting there downloading a file, having to open it and manually search through it. Here you can very quickly assess relevance. Here's another example. The second document on the list is a Word document. It also happens to be 3 megabyte in size. Again, when I click on this link, I'm brought to the most relevant portion of this document, page 14 of a 38-page document with full hit highlighting. Now, in the case of the first two links in this result, it totaled 6 meg. I'm able to assess the relevance of 6 meg of content in less than 10 seconds. The previews that we're using here are roughly 10 KB in size. So comparing 10 or 20 KB to 6 meg, you can see the full power of the preview. When a user sees a document that could in fact be useful, uh, you want to analyze it further or more closely. And by going into a full screen mode on the preview, you can do exactly that. So clicking on full view here, I go into a full screen mode and I'm presented with additional capability. On the left hand side of the screen at the very top here, first of all we see the terms that I ran in my query. Fast SharePoint search comparison. Uh, next to each is the total number of hits throughout the document and obviously the colors here correspond to the hit highlight colors. But beneath that is a very, very powerful feature that we call the hit map. This is a graphic representation of where the hits reside in the document. The numbers on the left here are page numbers. And you can move through the document just by clicking on any of the hits, or uh, bars I should say, in the hit map, like so. But the bottom line is, as you can see, I'm seeking a comparison between Fast and SharePoint Search. And when I scan that hit map, it's very difficult to see the word comparison because the term only appears eight times in this 38-page document. So what I can do is back out the other terms that are helping me find this document, but now they're actually hindering my ability to find my comparison. So I simply remove those terms, and you can see the hit map will update accordingly. And there we see immediately on page 10 and page 37 the comparison that I've been seeking. The preview also has a search inside capability. So let's say, for example, I'm quite happy with the comparison uh, matrix that I found here, and I want to learn about people search. Uh, can this document help me? You'll notice in the top left we have this search inside capability, and if I type people search and run that query, you'll see that those terms are added to the list of query terms below. Now the little red box here tells me that the word search was already there. It's not going to add it again. It's smart enough to know that. But we see immediately the term people does indeed uh, appear in this document 39 times. And based on the hit map, page 21 looks to be the most promising. So when I click on that, I'm immediately brought to page 21, the portion of the document uh, that begins the narrative on people search capability. Now another area that BA Insight focuses on is data visualization. Different types of data have different characteristics and they should be presented to users differently. An example of this, if I switch over to another query that I've run here, in this example we're using our Exchange connector to connect into Exchange and surface email based content. And you can see I've run a search and the first document on the list here happens to be an email. Now when I click on this what's going to happen is what you'd expect. We're going to get a preview of that particular email.
But once again, when I go into a full screen mode, we're presented with additional capability. In this case, on the top left, we see that this email has three document attachments. Uh, beneath that, we have our query terms. And beneath that, once again, we have the hit map, which really proves its value here. What we see immediately is that of those three attachments, only one of them is relevant. Only one contains the three terms I ran in my query, SPS press pass. Now, when I click on this SPS press pass, I get an exploded view of that document. So I can see immediately it's a seven page document, yet only three of the pages are relevant to me. Three, two, and one. The final step in searching for information is that when you finally find relevant content, you want to be able to act upon it immediately. And the Silverlight viewer provides the user with a rich set of actions where they can do exactly that. Uh, the preview is all text-based, so the user can copy and paste various sections of the document if they like. And towards the top right here, we have a series of next steps that they can act on. Uh, you can download content, you can email it, you can print it, add it to your favorites. Show container will take you to wherever the uh, document resides, whether it be in a file system folder or a document library. And of course, view properties will present additional metadata about the particular document. So this concludes our demo, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found it informative. Should you have any questions whatsoever about BA Insight search technology, please don't hesitate to contact us. The number is on the screen before you. Thank you very much.